Hey, it's Rachel from All About Planners. In this video, I'm doing a review of the self journal. So in addition to the planner, included in your purchase is a pen loop that you can attach to the planner, a little guidebook, and then this wall calendar, which based on how it feels, it sort of feels like smooth that you could use a whiteboard marker on it and then rub it out and keep using it. Um, so I'll have to test that out. So let's have a look at the planner. So it's pretty generic looking, just like any old um, hardbound notebook or hardbound planner. It's about 1.5 centimeters thick. It is about as big as a normal weekly planner that would last a year. However, this one only has enough for 13 weeks. So it's very goal setting focused, 13 weeks. And then you also have the daily pages, which is what takes up most of the bulk because you get two pages to plan each day. The inside of it, um, the paper feels quite smooth. I know it looks a bit yellow on camera, but it really is more white than most of the hardbound notebooks where it's that really gross yellow paper. This feels quite smooth and it's more white than yellow. It does not have tabs, but it does have page numbers which tie into this contents page here. So you get the goal setting pages at the front, monthly calendars which are clustered together so you can find the month easier. Then it goes into weekly planning and then the actual daily pages. So at the front you can set your goals. I'll just zoom in a bit so you can see a bit closer. Um, lots of top three focus, which I love because I always do a top three. If you want to break it down into a bit more detail, they have this one, which is um, continues over to like a commitment page as well. And then we have the monthly calendars. So like I said before, undated, you can start using them whenever you like. You can choose whether you want to start on a Sunday or a Monday because they've just left it blank. The other thing that I like about undated planners is um, you can choose to restart the numbering on the top row. So if you had this was like the 30th of the month and then you need one more box for the 31st, you can restart up the top here. Unlike how some calendars will split a box in two, that drives me mental. Like I hate that. You can restart the numbering. You get a dot grid task sidebar a uh, notes section down the bottom and then again all of these are page numbered so you can find it easily so you get all the monthly spreads at the front and then we go into the weekly overviews so it's the same format repeated for the 13 weeks so you get this milestones top three focus again and then a weekly overview with dot grid which is something different I'm seeing dot grid more and more now in um, weekly planners I used to be quite opposed to it but now it's growing on me more because I tend to do a lot of check boxes and it's a lot easier to draw a neat box on dot grid paper than lined so you get the weekly overview it does combine Saturday and Sunday into the same amount of space as another day which is slightly annoying however you do get so much detail for each day that I mean I can overlook it then we have the Habit Tracker, which starts on a Monday, so does the weekly spread, so you could start the monthly calendar on a Monday and keep it all consistent. You have the Habit Activity, and then it has a goal, so how many times you're going to try and do it that week, and then a total, so you can check that against your goal, which I tend to do for Habit Tracking, but not a lot of planners include those extra columns for whatever reason. And then we have a few more questions to do a reflection, and then they track it for you and shade the box of where you're up to. So, as you can see, it keeps going Whoops, through all these weekly pages. There are three built-in bookmarks, so if you wanted to flag your month, your week, and your day, you can. After all of the weekly spreads, we go into the daily. Now, as you're probably noticing, this is not particularly wanting to lay flat, so you might have to um, break the spine a bit. You know how you get the book like that and sort of bend it back to keep it flat. Um, let's go to the middle page, and then it might lay flat for me better. That's better. Okay, so we've got the two page spread. So each day starts with a 6 a.m. all the way down to 9 p.m. However, it like ends at 9, so you'd actually be ending at 8.30, like you, you don't get 9 o'clock. Um, as for those hours, probably would not be super useful for me because I'm not awake at 6 o'clock. They're pretty faint though, so you could just ignore them entirely and turn it into extra list making space or just write um, numbers over the top or use some white out. You could also just rewrite on the side here because there is quite a lot of space if you wanted to do um, like chunks and like color coding. So if you write it all in black pen and then got a highlighter and, and then like color coded those two hours if that's where you're going to be doing that thing. Over here you have heaps of dot grid paper to put some notes and then down the bottom you have a grateful for section 
over on the side you have your daily goal targets a quote they're different throughout um, all the daily spreads lessons learned wins and then another grateful for section would I use all those grateful for sections probably not I'd probably do um, more goals but really up to you how you want to use it uh, undated use it whenever you want you can stop start it does mark them for you so like day 32 week whatever you're up to and then if we keep going to the very back through all of the daily spreads so if you want to use it for a whole year you'll need to purchase about four copies to have enough um, and then it just has this page here so I mean it does include some dot grid pages for you to do like a detailed reflection I was a little disappointed that there wasn't like a general um, complete like overview look back section it's just open-ended and generic but you do get a few notes pages so I guess you just do it yourself um, again dot grid and it has this little perforated here so you can rip it out if you want to as well there is no pocket folder at the back um, not that I really use them very much in hardbound books anyway because they're already quite tight you can't really fit much more in them it has an elastic band to keep it all closed and then there's those three ribbon bookmarks I was talking about earlier so if you like this notebook um, I'll include a link below uh, remember that it is undated 13 weeks and it has the month week and daily format as well if you wanted to you could probably convert that daily format into a weekly spread like just have lots of list making space um, or you could do uh, like you add your days of the week here write them over the top and allocate a few lines for it if we're someone like me that likes to hack daily planners into a weekly um, really up to you definitely would recommend it for goal setting and if you like daily but it's probably a little bit too um, detailed for my liking in the daily pages hope you found this review helpful and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more review videos, I usually post two each week. The subscribe button is down below and I'll see you in the next one.